Episode 6, Jose's Mentor. I share my life experience with Jose. That's what I do. Lots of us do that. Share our life experience with Jose, that is. And life with Jose generates a considerable momentum. To him, momentum has an energy all its own. He says you don't have to look after it. Just keep helping it along. Then follow where the momentum takes you. That's what he does. That's what Jose says he does with momentum. Now between the folks he does business with and others he's helping along, Jose's what you might call a life counselor. People ask him about every sort of thing. He does his best to guide them along when and where he can. One time I had to ask Jose where he learned up all this. According to him, he participated in a particular form of on-the-job training. Only this involved more about life and less about one's job. And it all began with Clyde. Clyde was known for helping people So Jose asked if Clyde could help him. That help became something special, maybe even magical. Clyde called it pixie dust, meeting Jose and all. Stands to reason they became special close too. Jose says Clyde taught him and Avon what really mattered, you know, in life. Take for example, keeping perspective. Clyde said that perspective keeps you from putting elevators in outhouses or to not be afraid of reality. You often won't like it, but try not to be afraid. Else you wind up a pile of pretty leaves pretending to be a tree. Also, it's never a bad time to be in sales. Oh, Jose took that one straight to his heart. Jose and Avon were like water chasing gravity, the way they hung on to near everything Clyde said. I guess there's just so many ideas. Jose says they would fill up a book. Myself, I've always been partial to Clyde's notion of keeping feasants to a minimum. Feasants? was Clyde's all-in-one word. He used it to describe something gone bad or generally just not right, like spoiled food, or when something wasn't working out right, say like bugs in the garden eating the vegetables. Well, that'd be some feasance going on there. Could also be an unwelcome discovery, like coming across rotted wood when you're working on something that be feasance too. So the less feasance occurs, you know, the better. Jose says if you're not careful, feasance just has a way of generating itself. So he tries to avoid feasance as much as he can. We all try to do the same. Jose has articulated many times on the most important idea he learned from Clyde. That would be about making comparisons about yourself with regards to others. That was a big no-no with Clyde. Clyde said when we compare ourselves with others, we always end up on the short end. That was never no good for our minds or our spirit or just about anything, really. What we ought to do instead to Clyde's way of thinking involves comparing ourselves to ourselves and nobody else. He would ask Jose, real regular, are you a better person or better off in some way today than you were yesterday or last month or last year? Because that's the only person you need to be comparing yourself to, just yourself. That's what Clyde said. That's what Clyde said about making comparisons. 
Jose, he took that for gospel truth. Clyde's done passed on a good while now. Jose says barely a day or two goes by he doesn't think about Clyde, what he taught him and all. He thinks on him fondly with him being gone and all. That's a good thing, I suppose, that people would look on us fondly after we've gone. Jose wants that to be the case with him, too. Someday, I reckon Jose will have no trouble with that. Now, Jose's are always going somewhere. Makes sense, you know, on account of so many people wanting to do business with him. Jose says when he travels, he likes to travel light and keep the schedule even lighter. Better to enjoy the finer pursuits in life that way. That's what he says. That's what Jose says about his formula when he travels. One time he mentioned about focusing one's attention. Then he demonstrated it. Still doing it. That sort of thing starts to accumulate after a while. I imagine we all be sharing ideas with Jose for a long, long time.